it up here, we're going to do, hang on one sec. Let me. All right. So here's the, uh, the Dave Ramsey crew and they're going to be, so Biden has a, an initiative to try and help people buy houses, especially lower income people. Um, and what it does is it basically reduces the fees. When you buy a house, there are a lot of fees, right? Um, so it reduces the fees for people with lower credit scores, FICO scores. Okay. When you buy in a house and it depends on your, your credit score and the cost of the, the home. But to cover that, people that have really high credit scores and are buying more expensive homes, their fees went up a little bit. And the Dave Ramsey crew is really upset about this. So we're gonna we're gonna watch them try to explain it and then we're gonna we're gonna go over it. But uh, here it is, them trying to explain it real quick. Jade, about a thousand people have sent me this on social media, and we've got to cover it on today's show Let's because go. it's big news and not in a good way. <laughs> Let me read you the first line from this uh, Fox News article. A Biden administration rule is set to take effect that will force good credit home buyers to pay more for their mortgages to subsidize loans to higher risk borrowers. This is wild. Yeah. It says so let's break this down. That was a lot of that was a lot of words. Yeah, go ahead. Here's what's happening. People that have been quote unquote responsible, you know we don't love credit scores here, but people who have good credit scores who are putting fifteen to twenty percent down doing the right thing are now being dinged and having to pay more for their mortgages in order to help those who have bad credit scores and nothing down. No! Okay. So a little deceiving. They're not paying more I was gonna say I, I also I also love the fact that they're saying who are putting 15 to 20 percent down. I'm pretty sure that they're just throwing that in there. I don't think the legislation. No, no, no. That, it is. It. No, that is on the legislation because people can afford to do that to have more money. Right. Oh, I so that really is in there. I thought they were just. Oh, making yeah. it. No, 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 no. That's in there. But what they miss yeah. is that that's also telling you who has more money. Right? Because if I could afford to throw down 30% of my house, I clearly have more money than you do, right? So here it is. It's not your mortgage that goes up. It's the fees to purchase. Okay? So the fees on the down payment, right, based on credit score and down payment have been updated. So here's the article from USA Today. All right? So if you have a top credit score, you'll still pay less than if you have a low credit score. So they're not paying more than people with low credit scores. They're still paying a lot less if you have a high credit score. But your your fees are going up a little bit. But so the penalty for now for having a low credit score will be smaller than it was before May 1st. So here's the deal. If you have a low credit score now and you're getting a home with a mortgage, your fees for all that, for the mortgage and all the down payment stuff are really high. You're getting dinged because you have a low credit score. So you're paying even more. So it costs you even more to get a house. So it's harder to get a house if you have a low credit score, which is mostly people who are younger, right? The idea behind this is to get more younger people buying houses, people in their twenties and thirties. Because fewer of us own property than our parents that are millennials and, and Gen Z. So the idea is to try and encourage them. So their fees are going to go down now. Now, people that have really high credit scores already have low fees and their fees are still going to be a lot lower, but they're going to go up a little bit to offset the bottom, right? So we can give those people a break. So it's not as difficult to buy a house. So what does that mean? Let's see, I think they give a great example here. So, for example, if you have a credit score of 659, this is a good credit score, and you're borrowing 75% of the home's value, so you put down 25%, right, on the house, you'll pay a fee equal to 1.5% of the loan balance, okay? Before these changes, you would have paid 2.75%, so you paid 1.25% more. So on a $300,000 loan, that's 
$3,750 in closing costs. Okay. So what's the difference here is you just saved this person $3,750. Sorry. That's all they saved. This is not hundreds of thousands of dollars. This is $3,700 on a purchase in a fee. That's all it is. They're making it sound like it's the mortgage for the rest of your life and you're paying tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars for this. No, this is a $3,700 closing cost fee. Now, what does it look like if you're on the wealthier side and you're already getting a break, right? On the other end, let's say you have a credit score of 740 or higher, so really high, and you would have paid a 0.25% fee instead of one point or instead of what uh, a 2.75, you pay 0.25. So you're paying nothing anyway on a loan for 75%. So same kind of loan. After that, after May 1st, now your loan could go up to 0.375. So it goes up 0.175%. So on that same house, right, $300,000, you're talking about a $350 or, 307, three, or $375 increase, roughly, for the, for the person with the high credit score and more money. I don't love that the fee is higher, but it's it's not. A it's nothing, swing, though. And it's not a continuous, you know, swing either. No, you know? it's it's a one time thing. And it's it's only going to cost you a few hundred more dollars per thousand per hundred thousand. On the closing. Right. Price. But it's going to save uh, younger people who need to build credit and want to get property is going to save them a couple thousand on the other side. I do love that those fees got less for, for other people though, because I, I don't like that it feels as though they were taken advantage of. I mean, I, I realized they were, though. that was the problem. Things are more, more expensive when you have lesser credit at each increment. And like, I just get that that's baked into the cake, so to speak, but making that a little bit better is, is I think nice. Yeah, no, but the kid, the, the, the argument to that is, is that when you're rich, you get a lot of these breaks. And it's easier to have good credit score and be rich and stay rich and blah, blah, blah. But when you're poor, it's hard to get out of that because everything is more expensive. Right. So now the idea is, well, okay, we're going to lower the fees some, but that means in order to make it equitable for the, the mortgage companies and all that stuff for the closing costs, then we're going to have to raise some fees on the other end. But who are they raising it on? They're raising it on the few top percent of people who make a lot of money too. And it's based on the total amount you're borrowing. It's not based on, so these, I mean, once again, so now the rich guy's got to pay an extra couple hundred bucks to save the poor guy thousands. And they're bitching about how unfair this is. When for years, the poor guy has been paying thousands to save the rich guy a couple hundred bucks. Right. So the whole thing is just backwards, but let's, we'll watch a bitch about it some more because this is so stupid. But once again, they have to blame the poor person. It's always the poor person's fault. Oh, that's the summary. No. And this is not spin. Like we can go political all day because it is political, but from a financial perspective, this is insane. Purely. Oh, yes. Yeah. My no is purely financial, by the way. So here's the details. Experts believe that borrowers with a credit score of about 680 would pay around 40 bucks more per month on a $400,000 mortgage. That's not true. Under rules from the Federal Housing Finance Agency. It's not true. Which goes into effect May 1st. And by the way, if you're thinking, I'm going to sneak under that. No, it's too late. You would have had to close two days ago mm, to yeah. not get hit by this. It's already happening. It's just now official, official. $40 more per month. So if you... For... The way they broke that down, that $40 a month, that's for one year to cover the fee. Oh, it's how they broke the fee down. You say, this is the equivalent of $40 per month for the next year. But right? they're trying to make it sound like that's on your mortgage for the next 30 years. Right. But it's all financial, and they understand the financial. Fucking idiots, man.
I swear to God, I don't know. I guess if we put enough chimps in a room, they'll pump out Shakespeare, but. <laughs> Jesus, these two. You have like, and we don't preach 30 year mortgages. That's 15 grand. 15 grand on top of your normal no, interest that you're paying. No, it's not though, because it's only calculated over the year. Paying over the course of your amortization schedule. Oh my God. Unbelievable. So the Federal Housing Finance Agency, they oversee the federally backed home mortgage companies like Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, you've heard about them. And they're, they're trying to give consumers more affordable housing options. Which only remind you, uh, the housing market's been struggling in the weight of- Wait, I want to go back. Look at her response. We're going to give consumers more affordable housing options. Look at her response. This is how much they hate middle class and poor people. Look at her response. Which only remind you, uh, the housing see? market's been struggling in the weight- Do you see that? Yeah. <sighs> Fucking poor people. Wanting wow. fucking houses and food. Jeez. <laughs> I think we can end on that. That was. <laughs> what else could What else could we say? I mean, that's. No, no. I feel like that's <coughs> a perfectly good note to end on. Oh my god. So the Dave Rand. <laughs>